Hi everyone, welcome to my home and welcome to Storytime with Spoons Across America and me, Miss Clarice. Today's story is one of my favorites. I will not ever, never eat a tomato. Featuring Charlie and Lola and written by Laura Child. Let's begin by starting with our storytime song. Are you ready? And it goes a little something like this. S-T-O-R-Y, S-T-O-R-Y. Story, 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 boom. Now you're ready to listen and learn. I will not ever, never eat a tomato. I have this sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give her her dinner. This is a hard job because she's a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day, I played a good trick on her. She was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner. And Lola said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghettis or eggs, or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower, or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges. And I am not keen on apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish fingers. And I absolutely will not ever, never eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having any of those. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We do not have any apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and certainly no tomatoes. Hmm. Lola looks at the table. But why are those carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, says Lola. But how can they be carrots, I say? Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, says Lola. Well, I might just try one, if they're all the way from Jupiter. Hmm. Not bad, she says, taking another bite. Then Lola sees some peas. I don't eat peas, says Lola. I say, these are not peas. These are green drops from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, Lola says. Oh, goody, I say. I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, says Lola. Quite tasty. Next, Lola spies the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try. Not even mash. Oh, this isn't mash. People often think that, but no, this is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, well, in that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Charlie, she says, they look like fish fingers to me. And I would never eat a fish finger. I know that, but these are not fish fingers. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea 
Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I've been to that supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before. Lola says, gobbling. And are there any more? And then Lola says, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I say, what? One of those? And Lola says, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I can't believe my eyes because what she is pointing at is the tomatoes. And I say, are you sure? Really? One of these? And she says, yes, of course, moon squirters are my favorites. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? What a cute story. I noticed that Lola had a long list of foods that she did not want to eat, that she said she would never eat. But as soon as she tried them, by pretending they were something else, she enjoyed them. Can you think of some foods that you don't enjoy so much? Maybe you should give it another try. We all have foods that we like and dislike, and that's okay. I do really like tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. Super tasty and I love to eat them in, with my salad. To learn more about some of our recipes or catch another story, visit us at www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. That's www.spoonsacrossamerica.org. See you next time.